Hello, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you three thoughts from 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 23 through 25, where we'll try to answer the question, why did Elisha curse kids? 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 23 through 25 says, He went up from there to Bethel, and while he was going up on the way, some small boys came out of the city and jeered him, saying, Go up, you bald head. Go up, you bald head. And he turned around, and when he saw them, he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two she-bears came out of the woods and tore forty-two of the boys. From there he went on to Mount Carmel, and from there he returned to Samaria. Elijah was the successor to Elijah, the great prophet who had pronounced judgment against kings and had demonstrated great power and had killed prophets of Baal. Elisha had just witnessed him being taken up into heaven. In witnessing this, he knew he would receive a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Elisha is the new prophet of the Lord there in Samaria. And one of the first things he does is head up to Bethel. Now, Bethel is a center for Baal worship. It is a place where the prophet of the Lord is not going to be welcomed with any great greeting or anything like that. And as he goes up, he runs into these boys. And these boys, well, let's just say that there's a lot of them, and they are looking to cause some trouble. Here are three thoughts from 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 23 through 25 on why did Elisha curse kids? Thought number one, these kids were a physical threat. Now, my text said small boys. Sometimes you might see it say young boys, that sort of thing. But here's the deal. There were more than 50 of these kids. In fact, there could have been up to 100 of these kids, and they were all antagonistic to Elisha. They represented a physical threat to his well-being. Now, you might look at me and say, oh, but those are just kids. It's like, sure, they're just kids, but when there's a hundred of them, they can be pretty dangerous. My son likes to ask me this question. He says, would you rather fight 50 chicken-sized T-Rexes or one T-Rex sized chicken. And I always go for the one T-Rex sized chicken because he's only got one mouth that I gotta deal with. He's only got two sets of spurs I gotta deal with. But with all of the chicken sized T-Rexes, I gotta fight 50 T-Rex mouths. They're little mouths, but there's still a bunch of them. They represented a physical threat to Elisha. And because of that, he placed a curse upon them. Thought number two, they disrespected the prophet. Now, we don't have a great sense of respect for religious leaders these days, at least not that I think. Not like it has been in the past. Instead, we just sort of have a, you know, this is what I do, and you know, that's fine, and it's all good. But in the ancient world, the prophet was somebody who was respected. The prophet was somebody who was of high standing within the community. And when this gang of children, when this gang of boys were being disrespectful to the prophet, they were demonstrating a level of disrespect to cultural norms for their society, which amplified the feeling of physical threat that Elijah was having. Thought number three, they disrespected God. When one disrespects the man of God, they are also disrespecting God himself. And when these children disrespected Elisha, as he is performing his duties as the man of God, as the prophet of the Lord, they are disrespecting not just him, and not just the culture that they're being brought up in, but they're also disrespecting the God whom Elisha serves. And the God whom Elisha serves is a God of great power. He's a God of great honor. He is a God who will not trifle 
with these punk little kids. So when Elisha places the curse on them, the two she-bears come out and terrorize this group. So much so that 42 of them are mauled. So there's no telling the size of the group. There's no telling exactly how old they were, but it is very clear that they were a physical threat. They were being disrespectful and they were dishonoring God. These three thoughts come to you from 2 Kings chapters 1 through 5 which is the reading for today. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group, Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.